We're going to start off with round one matches here. Sounds good. I believe I have that match. Uh... Yes, right here. Okay. Let me make sure I don't. Okay. I don't want to double save. Good. All right. So we're going to open up the thing, get things going here. And as I do that, what are you uh, hoping to see from Hooded? Or I don't even know what's going to even happen in this matchup right now. Should be fun. Uh, well, Hooded has quite a few characters that he is very adept at. I would say he's a pretty strong full roster player. Mm -hmm. um, to my understanding, Maximum Jugs is a Falcon player. Uh, usually what I see from Hooded when he's playing against people he's not familiar with is he'll start Yoshi and see where he should go from there. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, it's a, if it's a Falcon player and, you know, the first game, maybe uh, he doesn't feel super confident. Or if he loses, he'll counterpick or just swap to Kirby because oh, um, he is pretty good at the Kirby Falcon matchup. And a lot of Falcons really struggle with that matchup. So yeah. that could be something that we could see from Hooded. I'm not really sure. I think if he does really well with his Yoshi to start, mm -hmm. then... You know, he he probably won't swap, or he could just bring out the rat. You know, who knows? Yeah. He could he could throw some curveballs that I don't expect. I know. Every time I play hooded, it's always uh, his Yoshi. So, which is a shame because I play a lot of Yoshi's out here in NorCal. Players like She Man, uh, Paco likes to play Yoshi a lot against me, mm -hmm. which is he doesn't like to bring it out in tournaments a lot of times. Just I guess to play around with me, but still, Yoshi's are annoying to deal with. <laughs> You know, yeah, it's definitely got a learning curve to it. Um, a very different matchup than anything else, I would say. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Yoshi has really unique tools that, um, you know, you kind of have to get used to playing into and around, right? Super armor, yeah. knowing super armor presents. Uh, the combo game is a little different because that super armor makes it, you know, a, a little bit tighter of a requirement since. True. He gets True. super armor so fast when his jump starts. Mm -hmm. And then parrying, obviously, you know, I down air into parry all the time and just eat an up tilt up smash. <laughs> I'm just die. I'm surprised like armor and parry isn't like making it the number one character already in Smash, because usually that's good in any game you're playing. Oh yeah, they're definitely really, really strong tools. Okay, so I got the game going up here now. Alright, it's showing. Can you uh, see everything okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Should be coming up for you pretty nicely. All right, we'll see how things go. And this is apparently the hooded versus jugs crack. So, we'll see how Sounds things good. going. All right, yeah. All right, the Smash Remix the intro screen, yep. set in a tournament. Very good, very good. Oh, the immediate Kirby. No time. To oh, it was a fake out. Right into Yoshi. Let's go. I love to see it. All right. So we're going to get right into it. Yoshi, super armor, going to be the big thing to look for here, how he plays around neutral. Just some initial dash dancing, holding center stage, doing a pretty good job. Gets caught in shield, thinks he can get out, gets up tilted. Really good shield pressure consistently. Those up tilts, the timing on them can be a little bit tricky to play around. Nair into Ooh. forward air should be a kill. Very easy start for the Yosh. Gonna play around side plat a little bit. Oh, oh, getting in with that slippery, slippery down air. This should be a pretty big punish again. Misses the forward tilt though, a little bit slow on it, but this is a shield pressure opportunity. Gonna mess up the pressure a little bit, but that kind of delay sort of messed Falcon up. You know, he couldn't really get out of shield fast enough there. Neutral win for Falcon here, but the the DI on the forward air getting right out of that. Up smash, up air, up air, should be an up B. Uh, not sure yet, yeah, not gonna kill quite yet. Edge guard opportunity is gonna let him back on. Ooh, that dash tag is so hard to deal with. The egg misses, but the giant head manages to hit him. Uh, pretty easy connection there from Yoshi. Um, it deals with the invincibility really, really well. Just kind of waits on the side plat, probably ready to shield drop on him. The down air back onto the side plat is really tough to deal with as Falcon. This is another combo opportunity and really clean finish from Yoshi. Definitely a pretty commanding lead here. Uh, Falcon definitely has the potential to bring stuff like this back. He is a pretty volatile character, but it is a really, really hard opportunity against somebody as good as you, um, hooded at Yoshi. Uh, tech chase and misses it. Big grab. Not going to be able to get anything off it. Probably wants to be back throwing at that percent. I mean, 140, and that's that's going to be a wrap. Yeah, when you get grabs that late in the game, you really want to try 
and focus on just back throwing. Um, at think? best, it kills. At worst, it's going to be an edge guard opportunity. Yeah, because there's nothing you can do off forward throw with Falcon, yeah, right? You grab somebody at 140%. Can't Falcon really do anything. Yeah, I mean, the big thing about um, killing Yoshi at high percents is you want to just take those straight throws. You want to just take those straight hits. And he is going to go Donkey Kong oh, yeah. in this game. We are seeing some some big monkey forward air from the top platform. Pretty decent connection. Just tries to spam some grabs. Doesn't really connect. Nair standstill yeah. re grab from Falcon. Got a standard off stage. Pretty That's good connection. First. First stock for Falcon, absolutely really easy for Falcon to make a lot of connections on Donkey Kong. We're going to see a lot of really easy re-grabs just like that right there. Going into the combo, not really connecting enough off of it. <laughs> the up B, the wake up up B from Donkey Kong Legendary, that long grab range. Back throw just <laughs> killing him. <laughs> so it's yeah. so sad to see. It Gonna play around ledge a little bit. A lot. Yes, that back throw. When people are good enough with DK just abuse it. Another nice, abuse. solid edge guard from Falcon. Mm -hmm. um, pretty, pretty easy. You really want to aim for Donkey Kong's head as Falcon. We just got center stage control from Donkey Kong. Doesn't really matter though. The I think that was a down air into a regrab. Very nice. Di from Donkey Kong getting him out of the forward air situation. Up the off stage into up air regrab or not? Uh, not regrab, just grab. I think he might have wanted to up B there. No, definitely going for the forward air into up B. Pretty easy stock for Donkey Kong. Close match right now though. Maximum Jug's playing a lot better than his first game, obviously. Mm -hmm. Definitely connecting some combos. Think, uh, Dash dance up air. <laughs> oh, stream's getting real laggy for me. Can't tell what's going on. Well, Captain Falcon died somehow, and we saw a Donkey Kong. <laughs> I think it's starting to stabilize now. There we go. Upbeat a ledge, pretty good. Immediately jumps off ledge. Maximum Jugs getting a pretty good read there with the forward uh, smash. Pretty good tool to deal with Donkey Kong trying to come backstage. It's all about just aiming for his head there. Forward air, turn around, re -grab. Saw the DI that time. Doesn't walk into the upbeat. Very good reaction. Ooh, does lose neutral with the back throw, and then the down air. Close game, though. Yeah, it was a very close game. Yeah, but, definitely. But, unfortunately, could have taken that one, you know? You don't have to see it. it yeah, I mean, once you get to that last stock, it's uh, it's tough against Donkey Kong because if he just gets you off stage, he just wants to hit you with his big dumb feet, you know. So okay, so if we enter. Yeah, I mean, into the maximum jugs. I think he mentioned in the chat that he was new. Uh, so I would say oh, wow. doing well against any of Hooded's characters is really impressive. So exactly. hats off to that guy for sure. For real. All right, now if we go back to the bracket, we're gonna be seeing that that match is done and Hooded moves on. Uh, I'm gonna see if I have. The Muscle Man versus 